Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Passed by some outland awards and punics. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja, called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons, 
Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. Then we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. <laughs> sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the Mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dungbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they uh, shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass.
I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. More tracks. I think someone followed whoever we're following. That sounds bad. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
You're gonna wipe us out! You're gonna wipe us out! See them. Here we are. Nerva says you gotta eat dirt. Okay, no more sneaking. Advance! Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Ursa! Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa, 
No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Erend, I'm... I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a lot of talking pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval, too. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? This machine's been picked apart with precision. Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. What happens when I turn it on? I think I've got it working. There. <laughs> now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. <laughs> I, I just want to hear your voice. And keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. La 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 la! <laughs> there. A song and a laugh. Even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then? Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Durval's got nothing left to lose. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please.
When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Derval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Is a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too it's a big. Bomb, all right. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Something's dripping from the ceiling. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's... there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. 
He's finished. Boot tracks. With just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable Hurry shop? Nora has something to do with you. What happened? Have Let's have it. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Derval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Derval did find a way into the palace. Wish I could be there to see the sun. Come on, then. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! Leave everyone at the mercy of that machine.
What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. To me, brothers! I've led an army. And ravages, a savage is nothing. Why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? Can we finish this? I've got a Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. Why does a god always have his ladies do the fighting? It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Murderous Glint Hawks! As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up!
I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan, and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osiram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. 
My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Focuses at that location. It shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. Someone just killed one of us. It's her! from melted snow. They're inside too. I'm going in! That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Say it again, Lieutenant. I got some. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hatch at all costs, then push back out. A battle. Frozen in ice and time. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? During victory, we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Freeze for contact! Thanks for being in the same place, sir. Thank you. 
to lodge another's heart, I guess. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. What was this place? It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. Us? I'm not so sure. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. The furnishings Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. They ever get 20 drops. In and, and out of the, the West world. Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Just one bot. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium thing. Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. Red light. Guess that means no power. Oh, that's informative. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the Geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature call free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the Geotherm system reboot? goes like this bird flies north in summer east in spring west in fall and south in winter didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of mike the gt tech That's now did you <laughs> as usual i defy expectations
did it. Sounds like that did it. For later. Sniffing around. I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. What is this? That? 
It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, in the distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The Eclipse, tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! one can move. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus-class Titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but... Zero Dawn is functionally complete. <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Aloy, hey, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so...
so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. There are the handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. <sighs> at least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall net that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. I think I'm in the clear.
explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Next, just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. Are you getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Transform from a gentle machine into a monster. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. The sun's busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. <laughs> Signals around here somewhere. See the module. Good. Now be quick. This. This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Come here. 
Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! <laughs> Destroy the Entity! Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Sunfall. The Mad King Duran Summit Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping.
the submarine. The proud tradition of Akaji. It's not like this in Meridian. At least, if you time, I'm sure they missed. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Remember your place, stranger. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak on my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green tent king, down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me forth, then, while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. I'm in the Citadel. Gotta see the sun ring from on high. For well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see them. Don't have time to talk to Outlanders. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see... The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families. If you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. 
For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Carja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the Green Clan? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Three dead trees, just like Vinasha said. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Made it. Where did you... Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Dead machine. Guess it's been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Guess it's been gathering components, probably for ammo.
Wicked took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men. So their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun card just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards you once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. There! Looks like she means to fight! <laughs> Keep up the attack! We still got another squad on the way! Have 
to you now, man. Rally, we can still finish them. and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Judgment upon you! Look out! To your left!
can't let you fall. That's the last of the Marvels. Mahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? <laughs> this won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Cross there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight! Saw me. Here we go. The sun sets on your pathetic life. No. Fight for what it's worth. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. Ugh, I've got other ammo. Oh, up to his first. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. 
Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. Get it while I can. This will help. You're three to Hodiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast? Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. 
It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it! I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up! After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Banasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Little Huntress, glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are you men, Huadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. <sighs> the way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection.
Oh dear. Here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Some traps would be nice. No traps left. Take cover up there, behind that rock. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? the bastards get ready I'll do what I have to Well now, seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere.
save that for later. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Edaman, my brother. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise.